What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today I'm bringing a little bit different of a video. We are making the case for eight gigabytes of system memory in your mining rig, so stick around. So you guys have probably heard me in Mining Rig Wars or one of my other Mining Rig how-to videos that you don't need more than four gigabytes of system memory. And for the most part, this holds true, except in one special case. And that special case is that there's new hardware. Well, then what is this new hardware and why does it matter that we need eight gigabytes of system memory? Well, the new hardware is the new Vega GPUs from AMD. And because they have a feature called HBCC, this feature can only be turned on if you have more than eight gigabytes of system memory. And well, does it really improve anything is the question after that, right? So what I had done is essentially run all of my Vega benchmarks on various different miners with the four gigabytes and HBCC turned off. Then to test HBCC, we installed eight gigabytes of memory into the miner and then booted it up and enabled HBCC and took the slider all the way to 11. Once we did that, we re-ran some of the tests and we found that there is an improvement, especially if you guys are looking at Kryptonite coins. This includes Monero and of course, one of my later favorites, the Sumo coin that you can check out how to mine up here. And we do have our own pool, so I'll go ahead and plug that as well. If we enable HBCC and we crank it all the way to 11, we get an average of an extra 100 hash a second on Monero based coins. This is some pretty awesome findings. Now, is that going to pay itself off for the high price of system memory in a reasonable amount of time? Maybe, maybe not. But the other thing that comes into play here is people are finding that you can run multiple threads on Vega for Monero based coins. This means you can actually go into your config file for AMD dash stack dash AMD miner and add an additional thread. The way you do that is you just open the config file, copy the thread that you have configured for your current Vega card and then paste it below and change the intensity down below that to about half that of what you would normally run the initial thread at. I will leave a link to a Reddit post and a fellow YouTuber that has also successfully done this. To make it actually work to where it almost doubles the rate, you're also going to have to do a Windows Reg edit and then reinstall the AMD drivers. All of that will also be linked in the description below on how to do that. Once you're able to do that, you can run multiple threads. If you do not do the reg edit and some other tweaks that you that are necessary, you won't actually get the full double rate. You won't go from a thousand to two thousand. You will though with the edits. It's just to note, if you go and only change your config, you're probably not gonna see any improvement. In fact, when I did the testing, if I just edited the config, all I did was get a second thread and both threads were running at half the rate that they were previously. Well, the first thread was a little bit higher at about 690. The second was about 400 or so. So that is the update and the argument for running more than four gigabytes of memory in your mining rig. Of course, this isn't really relevant if you're running anything other than Vega GPUs, but if you are running Vega GPUs, it's very relevant, especially considering the power consumption is already gonna probably put you behind on your ROI. So keep it in mind, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, and don't forget to comment in the comment section below, ask any questions that you may have, and definitely go check out all of the additional material for research that I leave in the description. Until next time, I will see you next Tuesday.